the last time that I did this tier list was, I think, it was when Caramel came out. That is, this is like almost like a year old tier list. Because that was, Caramel was the last time we got new Shads until the Lemoria Shads. So, I want, I just put, I just updated a list with all, of, all the Lemoria Shads. And, um, and we're just going to go through it. I'm going to rank all of them how I feel good they are, how I feel they are, how well they fit into the current meta. That's pretty much what I'm doing here. I think we all know that some of these are like awful and that the F, F, t F tier is going to be pretty extensive. Like there's a lot of garbage in this game right now. And there's, there's pretty few S tiers. I'll do this fairly quickly because I don't care. I literally don't care. Most of the four pip shads are pretty ass. That's actually a guarantee. Um, Raging Bull is just a hit and then a mantle actually kind of okay it's like bottom of the beat uh this one too the new lemoria shad for fire also pretty much sucks it does pretty good damage and then extends in overtime but it's still not great like it's not that useful it's not too good even with the roshambo meta it's just very very rare for it to be good it, it's just not good a lot of the time um i think s'mores is probably an s tier because it's just good on damage and then ffa is just a high a tier S'mores is just pure damage. That's all anybody ever uses it for. And like the bad, u the okay utility makes it even better. And then uh, FFA is an A. Just because it's just a hit and trap. And you can combo pretty well with it. But yeah, every single 4-pip shad, I'm putting an F tier by the way. Every single school, it's just going an F tier. Because you can just make like a s'mores 4-pip. Right, let me move on to ice. Um, I think Weaver is probably... Is Weaver S? Weaver's probably got to be S. It's got to be. Snowball Barrage, actually awful freeze right actually awful and whatever this doohickey is i think this is probably an a i, th I think it's okay it's just pure damage storm okay you suck you suck you suck you suck you suck you are actually nice this is a storm got a good spell storm got a really good spell am i missing one all right Oh, Glowbug. Oh, also trash. Also trash. I think we have his A tier. The tower is nice, but the damage is pretty terrible. Yeah, but it's like one of Ice's only hits. It literally is. Nobody ever uses Fortnite Shads. Yeah, they're, they're out of meta. They suck. A fifth Freeze Ray is actually good situationally. Punishes minions hard. No. Or at least say their names. Okay, you want me to say their names? I don't know their names. Okay? Look, you see all these on the bottom? I don't know half these names. Because they're so bad that I don't need to know their names. Nobody uses them. You will never see it in game. Unless it's PvE. And we're talking PvE. Some of these are like, okay. But I'm talking PvE, PvP here mostly, right? But in general, you wouldn't use half this garbage for PvE. Like, let's be honest. Like, they're pretty garbage. Alright, let's test balance. So, Sandworm actually kind of sucks. Mockenspiel is like, it's a, it's a high B. It's a high B, I think. It's not the worst. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to give it A. And then I'm going to give, uh, whatever this one is with the, the Russian dolls. I forget the name of it. Whatever it is, I think it's a low A. Because you can buff it and you can stack and you do pretty cool combos with this and Hydra. Really underrated spell. Um, what's, what's the rest of balance? Oh, old one's endgame. Does damage gives you a prism blade? Yeah, that sucks. I'm just gonna say how it is. I'm not gonna lie. And then gaze, I think it's a high B. I think gaze is pretty decent. It's not the worst, not the best. It's okay, right? Um, so next I will do life spells. Cause life has some juice. Obviously the four pip is trash. It's not that good. The new Lamoria spell for life is also pretty bad. Where it just converts half and absorbed like a blade. It sucks, regardless. It's not that good. Wings of Fate, I think, is a B. I think it's probably worse than gaze because gaze is just a bubble it's got a great heal it's a decent overtime it's bad but like it's not that bad right um and then i think hungry caterpillar gotta be high a and then grenadier is gotta be a low a i think that's pretty good myth let me do myth my homies four pip doo doo cheeks tatzel worm um tatzel worm Chat, I need help with Tatsil Worm. I don't know where to put Tatsil Worm. I have no idea. I want to give it F, but I also want to give it S. I have no clue. Actually, it just might get its own category. I rarely see it anymore. I think it's B. I think it's A. 
yeah, no, it, it can be super good. It's a 50-50 chance of literally winning you a match sometimes. But it's cringe. Lobby. Oh. Whatever this thing is called. It pierces a shield and does damage. I think it's I think it's underrated. I think it's a high B. I think it's underrated. It's good damage. Can actually do quite a bit of damage if you have some buffs on it. It's nice. It's right. It's really nice. Baba Yaga, easily really high A. Super high A. And same thing with Hero Saga. Super, super high. Both of these are amazing. Both of these can combo really well. Just with any of the myths utility. With the traps, it's so good. Myth is really good. I don't I think the reason that this isn't S tier is because the spell itself isn't that great. It's pairing it with Miss Utility that makes it pretty good. We can keep it the way it is, I guess, and we can move on to death. Um For death, oh my gosh. Death has some really good spells. Oh, oh, instantly Grim Reader, 100 percent super high S. Super, super, super high S. It's so good. It's got to be like one of the best shads in the game right now. Um, Wing Sorrow, I think, fell off the meta pretty much. It's really not that good. Yeah, yeah, no. Wing Sorrow sucks now. In PvP and PvE. Like, why use Wing Sorrow when you can just do this, dude? Like, like why why Wing Sorrow when you can Grim Reader? Like, it doesn't make... It, I think it sucks. I, I think it's awful. Um, Poor Pip for death honestly sucks. Uh, Krulu... It's not that good. Just Wraith. Just Wraith in every scenario. Unless it's PvE. I'll give it B because it's also a really good minion killer. I think it's interesting that way. So I'm going to leave it at low B. But it's not too good in both PvE and PvP. Like, you're better off just, like, Scarecrowing, honestly. But whatever. Next is uh, Snack Attack. I think Snack Attack underrated. Seriously. I think it's good. I don't think it's that good. Very situational. And it's gotten a lot worse. But it can still be used with combos. Still really good for death. It's pretty good. This is my my ranking. This is my ranking of it. So many of these spells are doo-doo cheeks. Yeah, exactly. Like, literally, everything that's... You don't see any of these spells used in F tier. That I think that's literally how this can be also categorized. Like, every single one of these spells, you will see time to time used in PvE. PvP, sometimes in PvE. Look, I'll move, I'll move Gaze up. I'm not against it whatsoever. I actually think Gaze is super good. Yeah, no. Yeah, 100%. I agree with Gaze being here more than it being in high B. I think it's definitely like a like a mid A. 